So I've got another little uh, Cisco antenna for us to take a look at today. Um, I think the construction is going to be uh, very similar to the last one we took to pieces where it's going to be more of a destructive uh, to get in here. It's uh, not going to be as simple as screws. But uh, we'll hook it up to the network analyzer first and take a look and uh, see how responsive it is at uh, 2.4 gigahertz. It's not the most powerful antenna in the world. It's only a, a 2 dB. Uh, antenna but again it's um, meant to go with uh, one of their diversity setups so there is two antennas in here but uh, as I said not particularly powerful so here's the uh, antenna under test I can only connect uh, one up at a time but uh, I'm presuming they're both the same on the inside so we'll take a look at that when we take it apart so I've just got the one connected up we've got a uh, nice little output on the network analyzer so as for the uh, output then, I'm scanning from uh, 1.8 gigahertz over here all the way up to uh, 3 gigahertz over here. We've got this lovely little dip here right in the uh, area of the uh, Wi-Fi spectrum. I've got it centered on 2.45 gigahertz there, but uh, that's a really nice little dip there. So really responsive at uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Now I don't want to make a uh, prediction of what kind of antenna this is uh, in here. It is only uh, a 2 dB antenna so it's not the most powerfulest antenna in the world. be interesting to see what's actually in there. Now as you saw there on the network analyzer it's got a nice uh, little output there on uh, 2.4 gigahertz. It's going to work really well on uh, the Wi-Fi spectrum and you know you, you, you would just expect that with uh, a company like Cisco. Now this just came in a box, just the antenna alone, I picked this up pretty cheap. But uh, I have been able to have a look online. I was interested in what kind of radiation pattern this produces because it, because it is a uh, ceiling antenna so it sits flat on the ceiling. Um, it does have a uh, slight null uh, bang in the middle so if this was directly above you then I would try to move to the cubicle uh, next door. Um, you're probably going to get the same kind of um, uh, power uh, output on uh, your uh, laptop. Uh, you probably see no difference with that. It would look like a nice strong connection, but um, you will probably find that your partner in the next uh, cubicle did have a uh, higher speed um, connection uh, with just being to the side of that null. So. I'm not sure what kind of antenna we've got in here, whether it's just a couple of small monopoles. As I said, it's uh, not a particularly powerful antenna. It's got these little clips on here, so it will clip onto uh, the uh, mounts, you know, for the uh, suspended ceiling. So you don't have to drill any holes to uh, install this, because a lot of people do rent office space and uh, drilling holes and things like that in uh, rented office space. Uh, comes with the same kind of caveats you've got if you rent a home you'll probably lose some of your uh, bond or be made to pay to uh, put things right so it is designed to clip on there without any uh, kind of screws or anything so I'm probably going to have to uh, use a bit of force to pry this open it's probably got some foam double sided tape on the inside like the last one did have now one other little thing to mention before to take it apart is I did uh, measure the VSWR of this uh, off camera and uh, I measured it at 1.6 now Cisco say on their spec sheet that it's uh, 1.7 so you know my equipment uh, is a little bit old and hasn't been calibrated for some time so you know it's, it's close enough compared to the equipment that Cisco use anyway so now we've got the lid off, um, we've got something uh, rather interesting. It's uh, not as mundane as I thought it uh, would be, something like a, a simple monopole or anything like that. I do believe what we have here are two F-type antennas, uh, slightly modified, but basically they are F-type antennas. You've got the feed coming in over here, and then you've got this uh, F-shape that you have with a uh, F-type antenna and then it's grounded back down here and uh, on the top we've got uh, these two patterns and they're probably influencing uh, the radiation pattern because this is uh, a ceiling antenna you want in uh, at least 90 percent of the radiation going down to uh, uh, over a wide area and uh, these two shapes here are probably doing 
just that, just influencing the radiation pattern from a uh, typical F-type antenna to uh, achieve that uh, purpose. And what I was saying before about the nulls, yes, these uh, do produce nulls, as we, as uh, you know, I uh, saw in the uh, spec sheet online. But because uh, they're so close together, the radiation pattern. Uh, will cross over each other they will cancel out those nulls so it wouldn't be such a, a bad connection if you were sitting directly under this um, a really interesting design uh, f-type antennas are something I've never really discussed before on these channels but they're pretty common especially in uh, routers with uh, no um, external antennas they're normally uh, an internal antenna um, Netgear used to use them a lot back in the day um, with uh, the little routers they used to sell back in the day and they'd have uh, an f-type antenna one in the uh, horizontal and one in the vertical and uh, those uh, older type uh, routers you could either have it flat on a surface or they came with a little stand so you could stick them upright and uh, because you had uh, an f-type antenna one in the horizontal one in the vertical it would always uh, operate the same way even if you had it on its end you just the antennas would just switch around in the horizontal and vertical plane so yeah not what I was expecting but uh, as I say it's not a particularly powerful antenna so this design you know you're only talking uh, 2 dB it's not uh, the most powerful design in the world but uh, interesting nonetheless so a very uh, interesting element then and uh, as you can see I've flattened this one out here just so it's easier for me to uh, take some measurements and I'll take these measurements and make a uh, PDF so you can download it in the description uh, if you want to play around with this uh, element at all. I mean it should be uh, pretty straightforward to uh, etch this out uh, of some uh, 0.5 millimeter thick brass I think that should be uh, doable at home and little interesting things with something like this as well um, this hole here is uh, four millimeters in diameter and that is probably there to uh, you know have impedance matching on this antenna so uh, you're getting a much lower VSWR now I was going to uh, just round the video up there I wasn't going to do anything uh, particular with these uh, antennas um, I've made a few uh, reference antennas from these uh, Cisco antennas in the last few videos but they were so pretty um, I've decided to knock up a couple of antennas so I've taken the uh, driven elements of this got myself uh, a piece of brass it's about one millimeter thick and I've mounted it on that piece of brass there I've put two SMA connectors on the back, RP and uh, SMA connector on the back of the other one there. And I've got two little antennas. Now, yeah, they're only 2 dB, but as we saw in the network analyzer, they've got a really nice output at 2.4 gigahertz. So just a uh, quick video then, looking uh, at another one of these uh, Cisco ceiling antennas, and it was the uh, ANT5959 antenna I don't think I uh, mentioned that at the beginning but um, yeah I've uh, made myself a couple of nice antennas again uh, that I wasn't going to do I was just going to take a quick look at it as I said but uh, hopefully you did find the uh, video interesting there will be uh, the measurements in a PDF uh, below for you to download if you uh, want to investigate this antenna any further any comments or questions drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them and uh, if you want to help support this channel to buy little things like this in the future that we can take a look at them, please feel free to head over to uh, Patreon and hopefully you'll join me on the next one.